This is a summary of the endocytic pathway, which is how the cell not only sorts the materials it takes up by endocytosis for either recycling or degradation, but the steps it takes to transport these materials to the lysosome, where they are enzymatically degraded. There are three distinct parts of the pathway, which are the early endosomes, the late endosomes and the lysosomes. Although these organelles relate to each other in structure, they all have distinct functions, which are all crucial to the processing of endocytose material. We will talk through each one in turn. Firstly, the early endosomes. These are formed when extracellular materials are endocytosed at the cell membrane. Specifically, they are formed following receptor-mediated fluid-based exocytosis. They are therefore located near the periphery of the cell. Endosomes are dynamic tubular and vesicular networks. The function of the early endosome is to sort what materials are going to be recycled back to the cell membrane and what is to be sent further down the pathway to eventually be enzymatically degraded. Materials are concentrated into compartments where they can bud off to their respective destinations. Most of the recycled materials are housekeeping receptors, which are responsible for the uptake of materials useful for the cell, such as iron or cholesterol. These receptors must be taken back to the cell membrane for additional rounds of reuptake, whereas the substrates are sent down the pathway for degradation. This leads us onto our next compartment. Located nearer the nucleus, late endosomes are the next destination of vesicles containing materials sent from the early endosome for degradation. They differ from early endosomes by their lower pH, which is roughly 4.6, and by the presence of LBPA, or lysobisphosphatidic acid. LBPA is required for hydrolysis of lipids since it enables the formation of inner luminal vesicles. Lysosomal enzymes are also first transported here from the Golgi by the mannose-6-phosphate system. This system involves mannose-6-phosphate receptor association to the hydrolytic enzymes and transport to the late endosome. Once arrived, the acidic pH causes the mannose-6-phosphate receptor to dissociate and this in turn activates the enzyme. From here, substrates are transported to the lysosome. The lysosome is well known for degradation of substrates by hydrolytic enzymes, and this is what we will be discussing here. There are approximately 60 known hydrolytic enzymes in the lysosomal lumen. These include acid hydrolases and acid lipases, which cleave substances into their constituent parts. Once cleaved and degraded into these smaller and simpler molecules, these products are predominantly transported away for resynthesis and reuse across the cell. The lumen is of acidic pH of about 4.6 and is maintained by V-type ATPase proton pumps, which keep the pH at an optimum for the activity of these enzymes. To prevent the lysosome from degrading itself with its own enzymes, it possesses lamp proteins, particularly lamp 1 and 2, which make up roughly 50% of proteins in its membrane. These proteins produce the glycocalyx, a protective gel phase coat which surrounds the membrane and prevents degradation. Lysosomal storage diseases are caused by genetic defects that affect one or more of the lysosomal hydrolase enzymes. The defects result in the accumulation of undigested substrates in lysosomes with severe pathological consequences, often in the nervous system. In most cases, there is a mutation in a structural gene that codes for an individual lysosomal hydrolase. The most severe form of lysosomal storage disease, however, is called inclusion cell disease. In this disease, almost all the hydrolytic enzymes are missing from the lysosome of fibroblasts and their undigested substrates accumulate in lysosomes, which consequently form large inclusions in the patient's cells. In this case, the electron micrograph shows cytoplasmic inclusions in lymphocytes of a patient affected by inclusion cell disease. Inclusion cell disease occurs due to a single gene defect and is inherited in a recessive manner. Affected individuals have two defective alleles. In inclusion cell disease patients, all the hydrolases are missing from lysosomes and are found in the blood. Because they fail to be properly sorted in the Golgi apparatus, the hydrolases are secreted rather than transported to the lysosomes. This missorting has been traced to a defective or missing GLC-NAC phosphotransferase, an enzyme which is essential for the addition of phosphate residues to the terminal mannose residue on lysosomal enzymes. 
Because lysosomal enzymes are not phosphorylated in the cis-Golgi network, they are not segregated by the mannose-6-phosphate receptors into the appropriate transport vesicles in the trans-Golgi network. Instead, they are carried to the cell surface and secreted by a default pathway. Although enzymatic degradation is a crucial intracellular function of the lysosome, the organelle also plays a role in a range of other cellular activities, such as macroautophagy and calcium storage, which are critical for normal cellular function. Click the link below to view the lysosomal function page of our website and reinforce your knowledge with the notes and practice questions.